I hope Spike isn't a girl in this version. I hope they don't make him sound like a girl. I, I know Spike is played by Kathy Winslet, I believe it is. Yeah, Kathy Winslet, who plays Spike in Generation 4. Which, she is a woman, but if it sounds like an actual woman, then... Oh, God. I, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs>
But anyways, what is up, every pony? It is me, Elusive Al here, and welcome to a brand new chapter of My Little Pony. Make your mark. Yes, guys, this is chapter six, episode one, The Isle of Scaly. The Isle of Scaly, Scaly. so we are jumping straight into the Dragonlands with Sunny and her friends. So, yeah, how did this come about? Well, if you've seen the last episode, which I know most of you had, we've now got a map uh, that uh, Sparky has uh, sneezed on it and it has somehow created a real map uh, which is to be of the uh, of the Dragonlands. Um, so that is where they are heading. And they are going to encounter other dragons there. And of course, and I made a community post about this and I've already just talked about him. We are going to encounter Spike the Dragon. Yes, Spike is alive and well. Fully grown up now. And um, yeah, he's, he's got other dragons uh, with him as well. Uh, but question is still looming about um, Ember. You know, the princess of the Dragonlands. You know, um... I wonder if Ember is uh, is in this one. I don't know. I can't say for certain. I cannot say for certain. But, um, yeah. I'm surprised about this episode duration uh, being uh, 23 minutes long. I am surprised about that. Um, so, yeah. Very surprised about it. Uh, I thought it would be like uh, over 40 minutes long, uh, knowing that I thought this was going to be the big special. But no, the big special is Secrets of Starlight, which I think is going to be uh, like Winter Wish, Winter Wish Day of last year. So I'll have to wear my uh, Christmas gear on for that one. Like I've got my sweater, I've got my hat. Uh, yeah, I'll have to dress up in... I have to dress up Christmassy for for that special. So yeah, but we're not going to focus on to that one yet. We are going to focus on this episode, and I got a feeling that this will be a big one because not only are uh, Sunny and her friends are going to be in the Dragonlands, but Opaline is going to be there too to take more dragon fire. Uh, from Sparky, of course, and possess uh, other dragon fire magic from uh, the other dragons as well that are in the Dragonlands. So, Opaline has got a big amount of power there that she can, um, that she can just claim and um, and uphold. I swear, if she, if she steals like every single power there, then she's going to be. Uh, the most strongest alicorn out of all and just and if Twilight is still alive then um, yeah I mean, I mean she, she could break the she could break the barrier easy she could break the shield that Twilight's uh, conjured in uh, Equestria but uh, yeah We'll just see. We'll just see what happens. And I know. I just know for a fact Opaline's going to be there, and so is Misty. And like I said during the animatic video, if you haven't seen that, go watch it. I said during the third part of the video that if uh, Misty, but well, if if Opaline does talk to Misty and say like, Misty, come over here, come over here, and let's take these ponies down. Misty will have a big dialogue to make a big dialogue to uh, to talk about here. Like either she does or she doesn't. But I think friendship is magic, cliche, and so on. She's gonna side with her newfound friends, 
and uh, there, and she's gonna side with, uh, yeah, with her friends and take down Opaline. So that would be awesome. Definitely, that'll definitely be awesome. Um, so uh, yeah, um, I wonder if there's like a Cheshire Cat in the Dragon Lands because you know. Ruby and Cheshire Cat, Volume Nine. Probably not. <laughs> um, but um, little hopes. It's just a slight, it's a slight hope, just a slight hope. Um, but yeah, um, we've now I've now caught up with uh, the Tell Your Tale episodes. Um, there is like one. There is like one episode that's been. Uh, posted after all of them ended. Uh, so yeah, I just hope if Opaline does get defeated, which she does, which she will get defeated. Um, I just hope she doesn't get reformed and doesn't become good. You know, like I consider her to be like the Queen Chrysalis out of this generation. I definitely consider her to be the Queen Chrysalis of this generation. And if somehow she does get reformed and somehow turns good, then uh, I don't know what to do. <laughs> uh, one star out of five. <laughs> That's what I'm giving my review from, from this episode. Um... I hope not. I hope not. But let's just see. Let's just see what happens. So with all that being said, every pony, um, let's get into uh, chapter six, episode one, the Isle of Scaly. Starting the episode in three, two, one. Here we go. All right. That every pony is episode one of chapter six called the Isle of Scaly, and um, okay, so we meet um, one, two, three, four, four dragons. There, I think it was. Was there four dragons in the Dragonlands? Let me double check. Um, I'm just seeing who is who. Um, I'm just trying to get, I'm just trying to see all the dragons there. Okay, so, oh my goodness. Uh, there's actually more than four. There's actually more. Uh, there's one, two... There's one, two, three, four, five. Five dragons. Five dragons, including the Dragon Lord, Spike. Um, so we've got Blaze. We've got Blaze. We've got Fountain. We've got Tumble. Blaze, Fountain, Tumble. Uh, Jax. And I uh, can't remember the last one. Um, I can't remember the last one. I can't remember the last one. That's the four that I've got. And the two that are uh, captured right now is Lava and Jade. So all together, that is seven dragons that are in the Dragonlands. Uh, they have uh, all awoken from their hibernation and everything. So Sunny says to the dragons that we need your help. Opaline Arcana is going to take your magic, and we need to re we need to all unite and stop her from taking the dragon fire. And so. Um, while they're almost to an agreement, uh, the dragons escort, um, you know, the ponies 
to the Dragon Lord where we see Spike. And I was saying over and over during that scene, I was like, please, please don't let it be a woman. Please don't, don't let it be a womanly voice. Please don't let it be a womanly voice. And to my surprise, he was like, oh, hey. Hey there, everypony. It's me, Spike the Dragon. The, the Dragon Lord, Spike the Dragon. I was like, well, hello. <laughs> what happened to you? <laughs> what happened to your voice? Did you get into Sweet Apple Acres and drank a lot of cider there? <laughs> what happened to your voice, my dude? <laughs> Um, yeah, Spike underwent a, um, a different voice. He now sounds a whole lot manlier now. <laughs> whole lot manlier. Whole lot ma manlier. Manlier. And, um, he's, <laughs> d d dare I say, it's, it's also, like, a dad type of voice as well. <laughs> it's a dad type of voice. <laughs> The fangirls are now going to swoon over that voice. <laughs> Easy, Pega sisters. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> oh, but, but, oh my god, what a, what a transformation, though, to Spike. I thought it was going to be, I thought it was going to be bad for, for, for the voice. But it actually turned out really good. It actually turned out really good, and I definitely approve of it speaking of approval opaline arcana's villain song um that she sung towards lava and jade absolutely banger absolute banger of a tune um it's and i said this during episode 50 of um tell your tale i said why is it always the evil ones get such good songs? Exact uh, quote-unquote uh, quotations as well. I'll even put a clip up. Bow before me, Earth, yep. Why is it always the evil ones get such good songs? So, yeah. Um, but... It's, she's produced another banger of a tune. She's absolutely produced another banger. She's produced another excellent top tier song. It is better than all of these, better than all the other songs that, that we've heard. Um, from uh, Sunny, Pip, Hitch, uh, and all that. Although, I will say, um, the Misty, the Misty uh, song, um, that that she first grew the tree back back in the last chapter um i really like that song so it's up there it's up there as well um so yeah um so spike agrees to uh sonny's uh pr proposition and they all go go get opaline uh but their ride is busted they, they can't go because, you know, Pip and her freaking devices. But actually, no, it wasn't uh, Pip and the devices, really. It's actually because of Opaline draining the magic. <laughs> it's actually Opaline. So they cannot ride that whatsoever. So they have to do it manually instead of automatic. What I mean by that is Spike and all the other dragons, Blaze, Jax, Fountain... And other and the other dragon who I cannot remember, um, <laughs> tumble. T did I say tumble? I don't know. Um, yeah, they they board the dragons instead, and they head off there. Now Spike's background story. Spike's backstory. Um, you, you, you you know Twilight Seal the. Uh, Sealed Equestria, put put a barrier in, par barrier in and everything. Um, and there were these dragons that were, like, draining her magic and whatnot. And it was slowly, slowly running out. So she created those, uh, those, uh, 
like like the, those uh, those crystals to uh, to protect uh, Questia, which which they did. Um, so yeah, and Spike also named a uh, a location of which I'm not familiar with. It's called Skyros. <laughs> and I believe Skyros is where um, I think alicorns were situated in. And maybe dragons as well that were that were also in their in their keepings as well. Um, like like Spike like Spike said. So yeah. Uh, but yeah, this was a pretty good episode. This was a pretty good episode, nonetheless. In the next episode, which is called Root of All Evils, uh, there's two parts in there as well. Oh, God, that's going to be such... Oh, that, that, those, those two episodes are going to be big. Um, we, we're going to see... We're going to see huge battles. We're going to see huge confrontations... Um, we're gonna have Opaline encountering uh, Sonny's friends. Uh, she's going to encounter Izzy. She's going to encounter Pip. She's going to encounter Zip. She's going to encounter Hitch. Uh, she's going to encounter everyone until she gets to Sonny, and they're gonna have a, a, a round two. They're gonna have a round two fight, <laughs> you know, <laughs> Tekken style. <laughs> um, and they're absolutely going to go all out. And that, that will be in part two. But I think in part one, she's going to encounter her friends first. And um, drain their magic. Drain their magic. But as for Sunny, um, I don't think her cutie mark gets drained. I'm going to say that. Um... But she is going to watch their friends, uh, Cutie Mark, uh, get completely drained. And this time, Opaline will get much more powerful and become stronger than uh, Sunny Star Scale. So that's going to be worrying to think about. That's going to be really worrying to think about. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, Opaline Arcana, Opaline Arcana, you sick, sadistic woman, but I absolutely love you and your songs. <laughs> oh, I, I love it. I love it. This is great storytelling. It's great. But anyways, everybody, <laughs> I have to end it there. But I, I desperately want to watch more. I really do. But I'm going to cue it there as of now. So yeah, there you go, everypony. That's going to do it for my reaction to Chapter 6, Episode 1, The Isle of Scaly. And if you've enjoyed my reaction to this episode, then make sure to hit the like button down below. And if you're new to my channel and want to check out more of my reactions, then you can by hitting that subscribe button. And hit that notification bell for more updating content when I upload my next video. Don't forget to check out all my socials. They'll be... They'll be all down below in the description. Uh, the link to my Bit2 reaction will also be down below in the description. It will all be there. And uh, leave your comments in the comment section as well. Like, did you enjoy this? Did you not? Let me know your overall thoughts in the comments section. And, uh, yeah, that's going to do it. Thank you very much, everybody, Pony, for watching. And I'll see you all for Chapter 6, Episode 2. Root, root or roots, roots of all evil. Bye for now, every pony. <sighs> oh. Wait, roots of all evil's description says the ponies need to figure out how Opaline is stealing the cutie marks and fast. Luckily, Opaline isn't the only ponies with dragons on her side. Well, yeah, but she's got, but she's got two dragons though. She's got two dragons. What happens if she possesses them? Can can you possess? Can she possess dragons with the, with some? 
I don't know. I don't think she can possess them. I don't think so. It will, it will drain them. It will surely drain them. Taking control of them. I doubt it. I doubt it. Uh, but yeah. Opaline's on the move though. Opaline is on the move. So this is getting really, really. 